Grace Nzioka was born on August 15, 1975 in Machakos. She attended Machakos Girls High School. While at high school she excelled in her academics and she was the head girl of the school. She later joined the University of Nairobi where she graduated with a bachelor's degree in law in the year 1998. In the year 2004 she obtained her master's in law from the University of Nairobi. Grace Nzioka also holds a diploma in legal services from the Kenya School of Law. Apart from that she also holds a certificate in judicial education from the National Judicial College in Reno, Nevada in the United States of America. Grace joined the judiciary in the year 2000 as a district magistrate specializing in human rights and constitutional law. Grace Nzioka rose through the ranks to become a senior resident magistrate and a chief magistrate. Former President Mwai Kibaki appointed Grace Nzioka as a High Court judge in the year 2011 after being recommended by the Judicial Service Commission. She is married to a man known as Jeremiah Kaiva Nzioka and they have three children. They have two sons and a daughter. Grace is a very wealthy woman. Her net worth has been estimated to have reached 200 million Kenyan shillings. She earns a monthly salary of 1.2 million Kenyan shillings. Some of the cases she has handled includes the Monica Kimani case where Joseph Erungu was arrested as the main suspect and he was later found guilty of the murder by the judge. His girlfriend Jackie Maribe was also arrested but later declared innocent by the judge. Grace also handled the Rafael Tuju loan case in which there was a commercial dispute between Rafael Tuju and East African Development Bank EABD. In that case Tuju had taken 1.5 million Kenyan shillings loan from the said bank so that he can develop a luxury hotel in Karen the bank and sued Tuju and his companies for defaulting the loan. The bank sought to recover the loan through Tuju's assets. Grace Nzioka has also worked on the case on the Tana River clashes. This happened after intercommunal violence erupted in Tana River County claiming the lives of more than 160 people. Thousands of people were also displaced during that violence. In the year 2013 she became a victim of robbery and kidnapping. She drove into her compound as usual and five armed men confronted her. During that time her bodyguards couldn't do anything because they were unarmed. The assailants forced their way into her house and stole valuable items like laptop, documents, television set among others. Grace and her husband were taken hostage and the armed men drove them to Dagareti. The armed men withdrew 40,000 Kenyan shillings from their ATM accounts and later abandoned them in Kongemi. She began her career as a social worker with a local organization to support vulnerable women and children. She went to the University of Nairobi where she pursued a degree in social sciences. She has worked there for various non-governmental organizations playing a critical role in designing and implementing programs. The programs were meant to improve access to education, healthcare, and economic opportunities for women and children. Because of her expertise in project management, strategic planning, and advocacy, she quickly gained recognition and this made her to be appointed as the head of Women Employment Division at a renowned international organization. One of the projects which Grace has fulfilled is the establishment of safe houses for victims of domestic violence. She also made sure that the victims are provided with counseling and legal support. She has also been instrumental in organizing workshops and training sessions on gender equality and women's rights. She has received several awards because of her work. The awards include the Women Human Rights Defender and Ashoka Fellowship for Social Entrepreneurship.